Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. It is kayak tournament morning again, and this morning is a special morning because it is the last true tournament of the year. This is our classic, and I am in a four-way tie for Angler of the Year. And so, if I do well today, and I do better than the other three dudes that I am competing against, I win Angler of the Year. So there's uh, quite a bit on the line this morning, and here's the deal. I am on absolutely nothing. We are literally just full sending it out here. We're going to go see what we can find this morning, and we're going to go try to catch some fish. Today is also Labor Day weekend, um, the first UT football game, and yeah, a bunch of different things. And so it's going to be a very interesting day out on the water to say the least probably very busy uh, we had a full moon last night which i don't care what anybody says on the internet or ever a full moon has always made bass fishing tougher for me um, unless we're talking about spawning fish and we're definitely not talking about spawning fish right now and so yeah <laughs> i'm excited we're about to send it boys and girls we're about to send it we're about to see what we can get done um I have zero expectations for today. I'm just gonna go out here. I'm gonna try to catch and fish. I'm gonna have as much fun as I possibly can. I literally have eight rods with me. I've got a bunch of boxes. We're going to a little area that I have historically caught a bunch of fish in. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video. Without further ado, full send. here we are so today's tournament is just a little bit different than normal because we actually aren't starting at daylight we're starting at six which is about an hour before daylight the reason we did that is because it's labor day weekend and it is going to be very very busy out today and so the thought process was start early gets us off the water a little bit earlier kind of helps us to avoid a little bit of boat traffic and so that's the plan for today so we got about 20 minutes before lines are in and then literally an hour before sunrise so we get to fish in the dark for an hour and uh yeah i don't know how that's gonna go i'm not really too concerned about it but uh we're pedaling down here right now it's about a mile pedal to where i'm heading i can actually see where i'm heading right now so it's not too bad but yeah so just so you know the whole first hour of the tournament is going to be in the dark so any fish that i catch you may or may not be able to see um but hopefully that helps us because this lake is tough we have that big full moon in the sky and this time of year when the water's 80 degrees and it's this tough outside one of the best ways to catch them is at night and so maybe we can do something miraculous right here before the sun comes up at least that's my plan in my head anyway and we all know how plans go so yeah all right boys and girls it's go time and like i said it's an hour to sunrise so let's go There you go. <laughs> it is. A jig. A uh, green pumpkin.
Alright guys, a little sickly one, but it's a fish. There's the first fish of the day. Caught him out of that little waterfall back there. And then um, that person decided to walk over there and fish the waterfall with me. So I'm just gonna leave them to it. Wait till they get done and then probably go back over there and see if I can pick one more up out of there. Normally that spot's good for more than one, but then sometimes it's good for just one. So I buzzed back there real quick. Didn't fish much of this um, because there's, I guess a boat tournament coming out today too they were running down here and one run to the mouth of the pocket and i thought well better go ahead and get back there and catch any fish that might be in that waterfall before those people get back in here too so i think that's going to be one of the biggest issues today is just the amount of boat traffic that's probably going to be out here um, with it being labor day weekend everybody's off this is like the last hurrah you know before summer's over so yeah it's all good though we got one in the boat now we just gotta keep on catching them. Number two. Well, guys, this is 8.15. We got two fish in the boat. We need one more for a limit. It is tough. There's a ton of boats out here. I've already seen eight bass boats this morning. The fog has set in, which is condensing a lot of people into a small area, and we're making a move. We are uh, at the spot we started, already like a mile and a half from the boat ramp. This is probably another two and a half miles down through here, and so, we're going to be a good little click away from the boat ramp once we get down here and get fishing, but the thought process for me is get down here, fish this area, because I've caught a ton of fish here. I've got a ton of confidence in it, and if something doesn't happen here, or even if something does happen here, we've got to make our way back, and so we'll go from there and fish our way all the way back to the boat ramp, and that could take literally the rest of the day to do this little plan that I have here and potentially catch some fish. I have no idea. Like I said, it's tough. Um, we started an hour before sunrise, so through the nighttime spinnerbait, I got one bite on the nighttime spinnerbait. It was a 10 and a half incher, which is hilarious to me. And then once the sun came up, here came the bass boats. And so before I could get that pocket fished out and get my day done, there were uh, five bass boats in there with me. And so we were playing hopscotch and musical, musical bass boats and kayaks going up the bank. But nothing I can do about it other than just keep on fishing. So we're going to make a move. Hopefully this fog is holding some of these dudes back off of this stuff. I'm not going to be able to tell until I get down here, but I think uh, I think this move is going to work. At least I hope it does, because if it doesn't, this is just going to be a very exhausting, uh, energy-consuming move. But like I said, we've got a lot of bank to fish on the way back, which I think is going to be key to uh, put more fish in the boat. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I've not looked at standings or anything. I just know that I've got two a little strung out 16 incher and a little fat 12 and a half incher and that's what we're working with so far.
all right guys so we're gonna try something uh that works on this lake when it's really hot and that's throwing a full-size chopo on shade lines and we're gonna see what happens um this is something that i have done years past just run around you throw this chopo on these shade lines and when you get one to bite it's normally a freaking good one like this isn't something where i'm going to get a ton of bites it's just going to be simply throw it in there and a really big one eats and so we're going to try that for a little while it's 10 15 right now um it just keeps getting busier and busier out here and so i need a fish i mean i, I need to probably throw something small and try to pick up one more fish but i think at this point in the day where i'm fishing at i think this is going to be the best bait to try to get one of those big big ones to eat and so that's what we're going to do we're going to see if we can round out the limit with a dad jim big one. so we're going to throw this thing we're going to make our way back up this bluff and uh, try to get back to where we started at probably fish where we started at and then if we've got enough time when we're done with that we will uh we may make a move and go see if we can go get in a grass mat or something throw a frog and try to pick up one more that way so yeah that's the plan right now I'm gonna throw the full size chopper around here see what kind of trouble we can get in with this thing and let's keep the day going what the hell is even that There we go. Told you guys. I freaking told you guys. Oh my god. Get in the boat with me. All right, guys, I told you guys, if I threw that thing, a big one would come unplugged on it, and it did. An 18 and three quarter. She's ready to go, too. She's bought my finger, man. That's awesome. Get out of here, baby. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. Let me go. There you go guys, 17 and a quarter. Something special is happening, I think. I think. They got to hear you guys, they're gonna jump. No, oh, he's going though. No. All right guys. Of course, I threw my chop on and break it off in like the freaking spider den here. Ugh. Oh yeah, 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 that's good. Let's get out of here, because that's in spiders I don't like. That's not even like normal freaking spiders. That's in wispy sons of bitches that I don't like. Ah! hate these gosh dang things. Ooh. Another one doesn't help though. 
Well, I'll tell you what, boys and girls, it's about to get squirrely out here in just a minute. Um, like I said, it is Labor Day weekend, and the wakeboard boats are out in full force. So are all the ski boats and the pleasure boaters and everybody else. And so, and I'm on the main lake in the main channel fishing. So it's going to get squirrely here in just a minute. Um, it is 11 15 lines out is at two o'clock so the day is ticking by very very quickly um crazy this day has flown by to be totally honest with you but we're doing pretty good so far we got 52 inches uh had that big 18 and three quarter and then another 17 and some change that really kind of i don't know i mean it, it's it's what we were looking for I, I'm, I'm trying not to get too excited about anything because i've been beat before um especially when i thought i had it won and so we're just gonna keep fishing fishing hard hopefully we can call one more time <laughs> lord have mercy get that sneeze out call up one more time and not get run over by a wakeboard boat so that's the plan for the rest of the day ladies and gentlemen just pound away at it This one's gonna help, guys. Nope, sure doesn't. 15 and three quarter doesn't help. Thanks, Mr. White War Boat. It's gonna help. It's a fish. Nope, another 15 incher. No. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, she uh, she gets the job done. Whew. Well, boys and girls, we've made it back to the house and uh it's over the angler of the year race is over the tournament season is over this specific tournament is over and we missed it by that much I ended up losing angler of the year by one point and uh kind of sucks but it's all okay at the same time because the duty one is named chris franklin and he is a badass angler and he deserved it because he beat me just by that much he had one tournament better than mine and just beat me by just a little bit but he deserves it i mean i gave him a run for his money right here at the end of the year had some really good finishes i knew the end of this year really set up well for me versus the beginning of this year and it's just how it played out now that being said we did get the w on this tournament so we did win the classic which is really really cool um unfortunately they didn't have my trophy ready they're getting my trophy built for the classic trophy so i'll have that here in a few days but we did end up winning the classic and this is a really special tournament because it was held on a lake called mountain hill some of you guys probably know it and what's funny is my dad always used to say to me, I would say, hey, let's go do something crazy. You know, I'd drive two hours down to this lake, whatever. And he'd say, why don't we just go to Mountain Hill? Well, 
dad today i went to mountain hill and i got it done and so last tournament of the year the last hurrah this has been a hell of a year it's been a hell of a run um this past tournament season i mean just this past like year of my life has been insanity um as you guys know and so to end it like this was good i also got this which is really cool and, and kind of nice um it's my participation award no this is most improved angler um i like stuff like this because i used to be a teacher and i used to hand things out like this to my kids you know but um this makes me happy it's most improved angler and so you know kind of the explanation behind this one is they give out two like sportsmanships awards uh the first one is just sportsmanship just being a good dude out in the water helping people out um and then the other one is most improved angler and essentially from when i began kayak tournament fishing like three years ago um literally 2020 is when i began um to this year i went from you know barely barely making it barely doing well not catching a limit to 12th and angler of the year points last year to second and angler of the year points this year and so got the most improved on that and so yeah guys that was this tournament season it's over I'm so glad you guys watched it it fires right back up in october so we're getting right back after it in a brand new tournament season this october and so you guys will not have to wait long on more kayak tournament videos but as always you guys are sweet and thank you for watching